Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. How to create a clone of virtual machine in VMware part 2. In part 1 of this lab, we had discussed about hot clone operation where the source VM which is being cloned was in powered on state. In part 2 of this lab, I will be explaining you how do we create cold clone of a virtual machine. One thing to remember that during hot clone operation, only one clone operation can be performed at any given point of time. Another hot clone operation of same source VM cannot be triggered until previous clone operation finishes. In such scenario where you want to trigger multiple clones of source VM simultaneously without waiting for previous operation to finish, cold clone can be really handy in those scenarios. If you also remember in part one of this lab, I had mentioned clone operation can only be performed using vCenter server. That's true if you want to perform clone only through GUI interface. But VMware is also having CLI available through which you can create cold clone of a virtual machine. I will also be explaining you the method of creating cold clone using VMware CLI. So let's get started. Now let's log into our vCenter server first. So vcsa-018.govmlab.local is our vCenter server. Provide SSO credentials of our vCenter server. Administrator at the rate of vSphere.local. Provide SSO password. Click on login. Now, as you could see, we are successfully logged into our vSphere web client. Now, in this lab also, I'll be referring tiny VM01 as my reference VM or as my source VM for performing clone operations. So if you want to perform clone operation, cold clone operation, first thing your source VM should be in powered off state. So as you could see, our tiny VM01 is in powered off state. So how do we perform cold clone? The procedure of performing cold clone is exactly same as performing hot clone operation. There is no difference. The only difference was the VM powered, VM powered on or powered off state. So, right to perform cold clone operation, right click on VM clone, clone to virtual machine, give a name to your virtual machine. Let's say cold clone underscore tiny VM zero one. Now, we'll deploy our first clone. Let's say on vCenter one. So go VM lab DC is the data center created on our vCenter one and we'll deploy on esx-028.govmlab.localhost. So we are going to deploy the clone VM on esx-028.govmlab.localhost of our go VM lab DCA and which is created under vCenter one. Select virtual disk format depending as your requirement. I'll be selecting, I'm selecting thin provision. Select data store as a default data store. I'm not doing any kind of customization, but in the previous, in the part one of this lab, in case if you haven't seen part one of this lab, please check out part one of this lab to see the customize, to see these two options, customizing the operating system and customizing this virtual machine hardware. In this lab, let's go to the third one, power on virtual machine after creation. Here we could review our virtual machine provisioning type, clone an existing virtual machine. Yes, we are cloning an existing virtual machine. The source VM is tiny VM01. Virtual machine name is clone underscore tiny VM01. It is deployed on GoVM lab hyphen DCA data center under this host, this data store, and the disk provisioning type is then provision. Now click on finish, and as soon as you click on finish, as you could see, the clone operation has initiated. Now you can clone another, you can create another clone underscore tiny VM02. And this time we'll create this clone under vCenter Server 2. So you can create another clone on vCenter Server 2. Select the data center as govmlab DCB. In that data center, select the host. So we have only one host, esx-038.govmlab.localhost. Select the host, click on next, select the disk format. Same as source or thin provision. Click on next, power on virtual machine after creation. And now as you could see, we have created multiple clones of our source VM, tiny VM01. The first clone was created, clone underscore tiny VM01 on the ESXi host 
ESX-A6502A host and another clone we have created the ESXi-03A host of our data center go vmlab-dcb which is created under vcenter server 2 so this is how we perform cold clone through ui interface now you might have like as i mentioned initially during hot clone operation only one clone operation can be performed at any given point of time and that's where if you want to create multiple clone operations simultaneously before waiting for previous one to finish the cold clone really helps help us out in such scenarios because since we have performed clone operation on a tiny VM and which got completed so fast that we could not notice that it does not hot clone doesn't allow us to create simultaneous clone operation. So let me just show you the limitation of the hot clone operation. So let's say I'll try to create any bulky VM. I'll try to create a clone of a bulky VM. So let's take our Windows VM. And let's try to create a hot clone because if you see my windows vm is in power on state it means i'm trying to create a hot clone of my vm so clean clone on this vm i'll give let's say i'll give a name hot clone windows 7 vm one select data center any data center that's all fine click on esx let's deploy this vm on 0 to a host select data storage then provision virtual machine after creation click on finish and now as you could see the clone operation hot clone operation has started for my vm now i think i'm having some issues with the okay that's a 32 bits vm let me just fix this issue now as you could see the previous issue it was coming because i have created a 30 2 bit VM, but the underlying ESXi host does not support. I have this Windows 7 is a 64 bit OS where my underlying ESXi host does not support 64 bit operating system. That was the reason we were getting this error. So I have created a hot clone. If you see, I have created a hot clone of my RHL VM. If you see, this is my RHL VM, and I have created a clone of this RHL VM, hot clone hyphen VM1. Now, if I try to trigger another clone of this RHL VM, hot clone, if you see, this option is grayed out. This is what I was talking about. If you are creating a hot clone, you can only perform one clone operation at a time. You cannot perform simultaneous clone operation, clone operation in case of hot clone. That's, so that's where our cold clone becomes really handy to solve this challenge. In, in, in cold clone because our source vm is in powered off state none of the file is being be, being locked and that's the reason a vm virtual vm will allow us to create multiple clone of multiple cold clone of a virtual machine when vm is in powered off state now that's been the ui part and as i mentioned if you want to perform a clone through ui vcenter server is the only way you need to have a vcenter server access to perform clone operation whether it's being a hot clone or whether it's being a cold clone now vmware is also having a cli available to perform cold clone operation for hot clone the only way is vcenter server ui but cold clone operation can still be performed using vmware command line so in the next section of this lab i'll explain you how do we create a clone using VMware CLI. Now before that, let me just stop this clone operation. Now for executing CLI, let's log into our ESXi host. So let me open PuTTY session, click on PuTTY and provide, give a name of our ESXi host where your source VM is residing. So if you see, we are going to create cold clone of this VM, tiny VM01, which is in powered off state. This VM is residing on esx-01a.govmlab.local. So we are logging to our ESXi host. Click on open, click on yes. Give a username as root, provide password of your ESXi host. Let me just change the color screen, color, appearance. I think it should be visible now. So to create a cold clone through VMware CLI, you have to that you can go to the 
direct you can go to the directory where your vm files are residing so i have stored our vm in cd vmfs volume data store one press enter do ls and our source vm is tiny this is our source vm so let's log into this folder 01 do ls and now you could see all of the vmware virtual machine files under this folder Now, if you want to create a cold clone, just run a command vmkfs tools hyphen d is for disk provisioning type. I'm using disk provisioning type as thin provision. Hyphen i is used for clone operation. Tiny vm01, give a name of your source vmdk. And then you can give a path where you want to deploy your destination vmdk. So I'll, I'll say cold clone dot vmdk something like this so basically what this cli is going to do we are using a vmkfs tools is the cli hyphen d is the disk type so what are the new clone machine will be created that the virtual disk type should be thin because i am using a thin provisioning as my disk provisioning type for my clone vm hyphen i is an argument which is used for clone operation so hyphen i then you have to provide the source vmdk so this is my source vmdk tiny vm01 dot vmdk this is my source vm vmdk and if you go and and where you want to create the clone vmdk so i have given a path vmfs volume data store one under data store one i want to have a new file gets created as cold clone dot vmdk now press enter and as you could see the clone operation has started and as you could see the clone operation has started now let me browse to that folder vmfs volume data store one and now here as you could see i have a two files two disk files now cold clone dot vmdk and cold clone hyphen flat dot vmdk so this are so this particular cli does not give you the entire vm running just like what we have seen in the ui interface it will just cloning the disk image and we have to create a vmx file using the vc ui or you can also use the esx host ui so let me show you esx host ui to create this clone so log into our esxi host so i am logged into my esxi host esx local. click on root provide credentials of your esxi host login and now as you could see we are successfully logged in to our esxi host directly using vmware host client so remember i'm going to create a cool clone of a VM without any use of vCenter server, right? So we have done, we have created a clone of disk files. Now what we are going to do, we are going to create a new VM. So click on create a new VM, create VM, click on create a new virtual machine, click on next, give a name to your virtual machine. Let's say I'll give a name, cold clone of tiny VM01, compatibility 6.5 virtual machine, guest voice family, I'll use other Linux 64 bit other 64 bit click on next data store one next now click on add hard disk because as you see in the cold in the in the cold clone operation which we have performed to cli we have already created cold clone dot vmdk file it means we have an existing virtual disk and we just need to create a vmx file and point out that vmx file to this vmdk so that vm can be powered on and to to, to do that click on so go to this virtual hardware click on add hard drive and you will be seeing existing hard disks once you click on existing hard disk, this is our cold clone dot vmdk. So you have to select the vmdk which you have created. Select this cold clone dot vmdk, select, click on next, finish. And now as you could see, your vm has registered. So now we have a vm which got created cold clone underscore tiny vm 01. Now just click on power on this vm. And as you could see, your vm got powered on click on now as you could see 
our VM has successfully created and successfully booted. booted. So now this concludes our lab for how to create cold clone of a virtual machine using vCenter UI and using VMware CLI. Thank you.